You're why, 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 on your back. why are you taking this way? I think the officer in charge, Constable Kraft, and uh, the sergeant at court, Sergeant Barron, who was a prosecutor in the case, I think acted professionally and diligently. And I think that they made the right decision in the circumstances to withdraw the charge. I guess Christmas came a couple days early for you. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. Success yesterday. Tell us about it. Tell us how you're feeling. I'm no, feeling really good. I, um, yeah, really happy for the outcome that we've got. Obviously, now we don't have to at least worry about this first one. G'day, guys. I know I'm often the bearer of bad news, but today, that's not the case. Today, I have something fantastic to share with you. Remember Victor Tay, the pastor based in New South Wales and young father that was arrested and fined a number of times during their lockdown for essentially wearing the wrong clothes while exercising. Well, yesterday, Victor had his first day in court, and thanks to all of your help at fightthefines.com.au, we were able to get him a great legal team, and already his first case, the prosecution were forced to withdraw their charges. That's right, two days before Christmas, the pastor, his first case, withdrawn. Now, Victor's case has been rather expensive because it is complicated and we need your help to keep fighting for him. He has another two court dates coming ahead and we still haven't even covered his first date. So please, fightthefines.com.au and give what you can to help us fight, not only for Victor, but for your rights and every other fine we can take on. Fightthefines.com. .au. Thanks for joining us, Manny, and thank you for bringing some light to Victor, Pastor Victor, uh, for this Christmas. Tell us what happened in court yesterday. Well, um, on review of the evidence, uh, especially the additional evidence that we had in our possession from other members of the public who were present on the scene uh, on that particular day, it became abundantly clear that Victor had, in, at that time, a reasonable excuse to not comply with the directions to move on. When you are holding a protest, if it's a genuine protest, under the Law Enforcement Powers and Responsibilities Act, if you're not causing any fear in other persons as a result of your protest, you cannot be given a uh, move on direction. It's very good to know that uh, you know you've got legal representation because um, at the beginning uh, the the prosecution lawyer actually kind of dug his heels in when they were trying to negotiate a bit just uh, prior to the hearing, um, but then when they uh, you know the, the lawyers kind of spoke and they showed some of the videos to the lawyer, that's when they um, you know decided to pull out. It is funny. It is interesting seeing the the lawyers negotiate and how they go about it, and obviously they they know what they're doing, so. Um, it, I'm sure that helps to get the outcome we're after. Do you think you could have done it yourself? No, absolutely not. I mean, uh, the, the lawyers guided me, you know, along the way, you know, they were giving advice and, um, you know, just even how they compile all the data and how they, they build up the arguments. We're just so grateful for the outcome. And obviously Victor has a few more, or at least a couple more cases coming up, but at least he can go into Christmas knowing that um, he's safe of that first initial one. And for you, we've got you on a, a number of cases now, one that's already public in Burke. So we're really excited to have you on the team and that you've already at your first day in court um, managed to get the prosecution to withdraw. So thank you so much. And as we say in Hebrew, Mazel Tov. I know you're not Jewish, but... Uh, this is what we call a big muzzle tov, and we hope and expect to have many more muzzle tovs from you in New South Wales at fightthefines.com.au with everybody's help at home. Thank you so much, Manny. Thanks very much, Avi, and muzzle tov to you. Uh, and uh, yes, I appreciate being involved in this. I think it's uh, certainly uh, directing our energy in the right direction. So have a great Christmas and uh, a new year to you and your viewers. And uh, Thanks again for the opportunity. Your case specifically, even up to now, has been uh, quite expensive because of the 
complexities to it, and we even changed lawyers in middle. Um, and it is going to be very expensive, thousand, much more than what the uh, fines would have been to fight the next two. What do you want to say to people, firstly, that have supported your fight now and helped this success, helped you succeed right before Christmas? What do you want to say to them? And what do you want to say to people who will be supporting you now in the spirit of Christmas, I guess? Well, I just want to thank everyone out there that has given to the cause um, I think we all know that this is not just about the, you know, the the, the fine or not just about paying, you know, the, the charge. If, if I was a, a charged in the end, you know, this is a principle, isn't it? So, um, you know, we're fighting against oppressive government. We're fighting against, you know, our, we're fighting for our civil liberties. So, you know, thank you so much for those of you who believe in the cause and are getting behind it and really encourage you to continue to support us as we uh, fight for you and fight for every Australian. So thank you so much. Like uh, Avi said, we're only a third of the way there. So anything you can do to contribute to the cause, we really appreciate it. Um, it's really making a difference. Well, thank you, mate. Thank you so much. And Merry Christmas. I'm so happy from this one little Jew in Melbourne. I wish you and your family <laughs> and your community a very, very merry and now happy Christmas. Great. Thanks a lot, Avi. And thanks for your help. If you love this idea to fight the fines down under as much as I do, make sure to hit the like button below and share the video far and wide because you never know who on your friends or family list can benefit from this campaign or able to help us help others. Again, fightthefines.com.au.